Uh, I'm gonna head out. Just make sure we put all the equipment back Sorry, and stuff. Yeah. Right. Thanks, man. Hey guys, Erwan here with... Martin. If you don't know who Martin is... Where have you been? No, uh, so Sorry. Martin has been doing a bunch of videos with us over here at Feature on our channel. You mm -hmm. saw him as one of the really mean judges. Ruthless. Ruthless judges in Fiesta in a Box. Uh, if you guys haven't watched Fiesta in a Box yet, please do. Um, this is a very casual video. I feel like after seeing Fiesta in a Box, people are probably like, oh my god. That was like way too intense. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be a very chill uh, video. And we thought it'd be really cool to do a recipe that a lot of people have been talking about on Twitter. Yeah. Well, we kind of missed the boat. We're way late on this because we were <laughs> busy with other things. Uh, but Tressa was absolutely huge. Um, so Netflix uh, that was on there made waves absolutely everywhere. But the thing that kind of stuck out to a lot of people on Twitter was the... So, no, is it upside down? Is it upside down? No. Chalk nut. If you're not from the Philippines, you probably have no idea what this is. If you're from the Philippines, this is iconic. Um, and you probably ate a bunch of it when you were yep. a kid. You could down the pack. Absolutely delicious. Peanut, chocolate, sugar, probably some palm oil in there. Wait, let's read out the ingredients actually. Ground roasted peanuts, sugar, powdered milk, cocoa powder, vanilla flavor. I have vanilla flavor. Um, and that's it. That's absolutely it. And it says 260 grams, but there's but more. The 260 grams is actually 16 pieces of these. And these are absolutely tiny. So this is one portion, which is great for your health. You just basically put one it in your is. mouth. But in Tresse, if you guys haven't seen it yet, the main character gives this as a bribe um, to the man in the sewer, or the monster in the sewer. Um, Nuno. Nuno. Magandang gabi, Nuno. Basically for bribes, for information about what's happening on the street. Um, and everyone on Twitter, everyone was basically saying, like, where did they get this massive chocolate? We looked, we looked for it. <laughs> and we could not find the massive chocolate, so we decided to. It was not real. Make one ourselves. Exactly. DIY. So today we're attempting to make chocolate from scratch in the same size as the bar <laughs> in Tresse. So chocolate isn't actually hard to do. We're gonna attempt to make it completely from scratch, which means we need to make our peanut butter. Mm -hmm. um, you could use a very sweet, oily peanut butter like Lily's, which is great. Yeah, I shortcut. love Lily's. That'd be a shortcut, or you can make your own. To make your own, very simple, Martin, what are we gonna do? Roast. Wait, chill them yeah. first, the man. Roast your peanuts. You're supposed to be a pro. Oh yeah. So we have some peanuts. To get the Mallard reaction, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Still with their skin on, this is gonna go into our fancy oven mm -hmm. at 350 degrees. Peanuts go into the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for how many minutes? Eight to 10 minutes. Um, and then from time to time, he's gonna shake them around to make sure you get kind of like a homogenous roast on them. Mm -hmm. um, what I will do is I have some chocolate here and this I'm gonna melt just on top of some boiling water as not to burn anything and to just slowly melt it. Once our chocolate is melted, that is basically just gonna chill. Yep. Chill on the side. And we're gonna be mixing together our cocoa, our powder powdered milk. sugar. Powdered, powdered milk, milk. Yep. that's right, powdered milk. So these are basically just using the ingredients that are in chocolate. Okay, very simple. Peanuts are now roasted. Um, and now we have to peel them. How do you peel them? We can do like a shortcut. Oh, we don't do it one by one? What? For content sake? For love, let's do it. <laughs> one by one. So they can taste the love. 
Okay, screw it. Let's do the shortcut. What's the shortcut? <laughs> <laughs> Put it in between two bowls. And ah, it's kind of like garlic, garlic, right? Yep. Yes. So, quick little tip when you're doing garlic or roasted peanuts, don't overfill it. Guys, me and Martin don't do well in the kitchen together because I'm all over the place. And Martin hates mess. He's allergic to it. <laughs> it's the wrong show. There. there. So now we just pick them one by one. Four hands are better than two. I don't appreciate your sarcasm, Martin. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Okay, after three hours of roasting and peeling peanuts, uh, we're good to blend. So usually you make peanut butter in a food, food processor. Yep. But Martin failed to tell me that we no longer have a food processor. Yep. Yeah. So oh we will God. attempt to make it in a blender. It'll work, I believe. So usually with peanut butter, um, if you're making oh, it at it's home. Upside down. <laughs> um, when you make peanut butter at home, it takes a while because you really want to release the natural oils uh -huh. that are in the peanuts and that becomes the butter. So just keep waiting. Eventually, science takes over. And as we know, science is... It's best. Good. I want the world to know. And Martin is a trained chef. I'm not. Yet I knew that peanut butter cannot be made in a blender. We just need a little bit of effort. You have to be... After like a hundred times of opening and closing, the texture is finally getting there. So I actually think we don't need to bring it to a peanut butter texture. So we're gonna mix in two, we're gonna start with two like really heaped tablespoons of white sugar. Chocolate is actually quite sweet. Yeah, variety. very sweet. Um, and then you have powdered milk, which is already quite sweet. Semi-sweet chocolate This we have not. So mixing the sugar with the peanuts. And if this is too dry, I mean, we'll see. If we can form it, we can form it. If not, yeah. If not, Lily's, Lily's will come to the rescue. Don't judge me. So the idea here is we want kind of like a pasty texture, right? Yes. And then you're gonna cook that down until on it a dries stove up. again until it starts drying up. And that will obviously concentrate the flavor, but also melt down some of the sugars, which should make it easier to kind of form into a candy jar. And some vanilla essence. Vanilla essence. Or is that vanilla bourbon? Vanilla Same things. Yeah. It looks more chocolatey. It needs more peanuts. Lilies! Chocolate is more nut or more chalk? <laughs> more nut. It's more. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we need to add some lilies. Yeah, it's still super chocolatey. All right. Okay, Martin, next step. We are gonna. Look. Oh, God. There. I'm gonna put some parchment paper over this. Okay, and this? While you cook it down over low heat. This is like ube halaya. <laughs> And I'm and just until it, turn in, it turns into crumbs. It's gonna take around three and a half hours of just 15 minutes. Okay, so while Martin stares, he's really just trying to push out any excess liquid and caramelize those sugars. You line, basically what we chose is this thing. More or less, one half of this is the size of one of these candy bars. And if you've watched Tressa, then the candy bar is presented in a pack. <laughs> it's presented in one of these packs, though. Um, like a giant version of this, but we're just gonna use this Ooh, maybe you can and put it in there. Or the editor can just... Mm -hmm. and yeah. then track it. <laughs> yeah, after we can wrap it in parchment paper. See you in 15 minutes. Bye. Pangarap ko'y di maabot dahil sa Bawal na gawa chocolate. <laughs> Just want to point out that Martin's redoing my wax paper because he didn't like how I crumpled mine. I did not need any chicken by that. So you fold it in two. Yep. Fold it to the length and width. When you unfurl it, 
you cut the corners. Okay, and then? Ah. Right, so it's easy to pull out. Also works for things that set when big. Yeah. See? So all See? you have to do when it sets, pull out. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so we put our mix in, and then this goes in the fridge until completely set. But we have to pack it. Okay, you want to start packing it in? What do you need? Nothing. I'm just going to use a spoon. What are all these sexual innuendos <laughs> that make you laugh, Martin? <laughs> Later. <laughs> it's not appropriate. I'll let you. It's still rolling. <laughs> okay, so this goes into the fridge. Yep. So we put it on ice to really, really An freeze ice it. water bath. If you had like more time, you can just put it in the fridge overnight. It's going to seize up and set. But in our case, we froze the damn thing. I tried, it wasn't working. So don't like, even. Like bug Christmas buy, like don't, rip yep. your pet. Yep, yep, that's me. See, look, see what you've done? Okay, we go. got our chalk knot bar. Now we need to fit it here into the packaging. Moment of truth, moment of truth. I'm not fired. Chuck nut, look at that. That's huge. Massive. Now, how does this, that's not gonna fit. Half cover, half cover. Get some body, yeah. Let's make it square and fired, yeah. Slowly. Martin, slowly, slowly. Martin, Martin. It's too dry. <laughs> Boom. You picked like the smallest one. Managing it. Let's do it again. Let's do the recipe. <laughs> Let's do the recipe again. Let's do it again. Let's first try it. I'll I'll go for the edges because that's the most set. Are you? Know? Yeah. That surprisingly works. <laughs> <laughs> Chester is very like it's it's set, but then if I do this, it crumbles like chocolate. Okay. That's exactly what it's supposed to crumble like. Taste-wise, I would say it's a slightly more Seychelles version. Yeah, of but chocolate. is it a chocolate that we use? Because the chocolate's a bit stronger. Overall, success. We'll put the recipe down below so you guys can check it out. I know. Um, no. Thanks for watching. This is a, like a very casual, chill video because I feel like all the videos that we've been putting out have been extremely intense. So this is just to kind of let you know we're still dumbasses and we're still here. Yeah. <laughs>